Hey, thanks for joining me on another video for Tarantula Science. Uh, I'm going to be going through some of uh, some of the things that I do as I feed my tarantulas throughout the week. And you'll get to see some of the tarantulas I have in my collection here and uh, how they eat. So my slings are pretty aggressive feeders. Uh, once they feel the vibrations of their prey in their enclosure, they're pretty quick to pounce. I typically feed them once a week if it's a large meal like these super worms or twice a week if it's a smaller meal like a small super worm or a meal worm or a small dubia roach. Um, and what you'll notice throughout the feeding is that their abdomen will actually like it, it you know, it occurs to me. I think one of the things I'm going to do next is possibly take a time lapse of them feeding so you can see their abdomen swell and you can see them literally like the, the motion of them injecting the venom and their digestive enzymes into their prey as they eat. So they inject the venom, which will paralyze their prey. And, and the venom is not, the ones that I have in any case, uh, these are mostly new world tarantulas. So the med, venom is not medically significant, which means it'll be, it, it's the equivalent, uh, the, the proteins in the venom are the equivalent of that of, uh, of like a honeybee or something. So it, it's not really that dangerous unless you're allergic to, uh, to that particular protein. And so, like I said, I feed them once a week or twice a week, depending on the, uh, on the, uh, on the size of the meal. And one of the things that I'll notice after their meals is that they'll, they'll clean their, their fangs. Uh, you can see the fang there, the, well, right there you see the chelicerae, which I, I liken to as the lips and their petty palps. Their petty palps kind of hold their prey in position as they, as they kind of inject their venom and their digestive enzymes. And then they sit there for hours as, as the, as the meal gets digested out on the outside and they slurp up their meal with their sucking stomach, which is located on the cephalothorax. And, and then it kind of gets passed through into the abdomen, the, the larger portion on the posterior end of the, on the, of the tarantula. And typically I have, a, um, I have a water dish in there. It's like a little bottle cap from the waters, uh, bottled waters I have. I just took them out in this case so that you can, uh, for, for effect, uh, so that they wouldn't be in the shot. That way you can just see a nice kind of, you know, like you can see their, their um, enclosure without having the, uh, the unsightly water dish. Now, for my th these tarantulas, uh, they're about maybe an inch and a half or so, or two inches. Uh, but for my slings, I don't have water bottles in there because they're too small. Um, I, I just pipette water into their enclosure. Now, I want to show you. Uh, so here's the Nandu chromatis. Uh, I'm really proud of my tarantula. I love these guys. I, I love the genetics. I love the species, uh, the genetic diversity that's shown in these tarantulas. Uh, there's now I've read a couple of research papers on these guys, and you know one says. Uh, there's about 2,400 species, known species, and another research paper will say there's uh, like a th uh, just over a thousand. So I'm not quite sure on that. But uh, just this particular shot here, the Gramostola pulchra. This I think is the best takedown, uh, the, the the best feeding takedown of, of the internet that I've seen. And he pulls off a wrestling move. He literally turns him and pins him, and then he has his meal. That's pretty epic. I, I love it. I think that's the best takedown on the internet, if you ask me. Um, and this guy, my grandma Stola loves to dig, uh, to dig um, or to bury his bottle cap. But either way, that was pretty epic. I think he deserves a little, um, yeah. Yeah, man, you're, you're the man for today. Enjoy your meal. So thanks, guys, and good luck in your studies.